We're going to be doing a robotic prostate surgery. Um, this is a, a gentleman who has a newly diagnosed prostate cancer. Uh, many options were discussed with him, but the reason why he chose removal of the prostate is because he wanted to know exactly how much cancer he has. He will know what the margins are. He will know the lymph node status and seminal vesicles. And removal of the prostate is the only option that gives it. Not, seminal, not seed implants, not radiation, not high food, and certainly cryo is not a good option uh, or freezing of the prostate for primary diagnosis. And now using the robot, it sort of brings all the skills together, and that's very unique. You can't just be a technician and be a robotic surgeon without knowing the anatomy, without being an oncologist, and without having laparoscopic skills. So people choose to come to Mount Sinai for me to operate on them because of the fact that we have expertise in three fields. That's really important. If the robot breaks or it doesn't work like a computer, I can use my laparoscopic skills or open surgical skills so they are safe. The team factor is very important because I use the same team all the time. The same anesthesiologist, same scrub tech, same circulator, and I always do one surgery at a time. I don't think running two rooms and going from surgery to surgery is a good uh, option for patients and outcome. So one surgery, one team, one operation at a time is what I do at Mount Sinai. Typically these cases takes about an hour and a half. They stay one night at the hospital. They will have a catheter for a week and uh, their outcome is superb with no transfusion and no pain.